Good evening viewers welcome to my channel HS Clue today we will start powerpoint introduction powerpoint is a presentation program that allows you to create dynamic slide presentations these presentations can include animation narration images videos and much more in this lesson you will learn your way around the powerpoint environment including the ribbon quick access toolbar and backstage view <music> The PowerPoint interface. When you open PowerPoint for the first time, the start screen will appear. From here, you will be able to create a new presentation. Choose a template and access your recently edited presentations. From the start screen, locate and select blank presentation to access the PowerPoint interface. Click the buttons in the interactive below to become familiar with the PowerPoint interface. Working with the PowerPoint environment, the ribbon and quick access toolbar are where you will find the commands to perform common tasks in PowerPoint. Backstage view gives you various options for saving, opening a file, printing and sharing your document. The ribbon. PowerPoint uses a tabbed ribbon system instead of traditional menus. The ribbon contains multiple tabs, each with several groups of commands. For example, the font group on the home tab contains command for formatting text in your document. Some groups also have a small arrow in the bottom right corner that you can click for even more more options showing and hiding the ribbon the ribbon is designed to respond to your current task but you can choose to minimize it if you find that it takes up too much screen space click the ribbon display options arrow in the upper right corner of the ribbon to display the drop down menu auto hide ribbon auto hide displays your workbook in full screen mode and completely hides the ribbon to show the ribbon click the expand ribbon command at the top of screen show tabs this option hides all commands groups when they are not in use but tabs will remain visible. To show the ribbon, simply click a tab. Show tabs and commands. This option maximizes the ribbon. All of the tabs and commands will be visible. This option is selected by default when you open PowerPoint for the first time. Using the tell me feature. If you are having trouble finding a command you want, the tell me feature can help. It works just like a regular search bar. Type what you are looking for and a list of options will appear. You can then use the command directly from the menu without having to find it on the ribbon. The quick access toolbar. Located just above the ribbon, the quick access toolbar lets you access common commands no matter which tab is selected. By default, it includes a save, undo, redo and start from beginning command. You can add other commands depending on your preference. To add commands to the quick access toolbar, click the drop down arrow to the right of the quick access toolbar. Select the command you want to add from the drop down menu. To choose from more commands, select more commands. The command will be added to the quick access toolbar. The ruler guides and grid lines. PowerPoint includes several tools to help organize and arrange content on your slides including the ruler, guides and grid lines. These tools make it easier to align objects on your slides. Simply click the check boxes in the show group on the view tab to show and hide these tools. Zoom and other view options. PowerPoint has a variety of viewing options that change how your presentation is displayed. You can choose to view your presentation in normal view, slide sorter view, reading view or slideshow view. You can also zoom in and out to make your presentation easier to read. Switching slide views. Switching between slide views is easy. Just locate and select the desired slide view command in the bottom right corner of the PowerPoint window. Zooming in and out. To zoom in or out, click and drag the zoom control slider in the bottom right corner of the PowerPoint window. You can also select the plus or minus commands to zoom in or out by smaller increments. The number next to the slider displays the current zoom percentage also called the zoom level. Backstage view. Backstage view gives you various options for saving, opening, printing and sharing your presentations. To access back Backstage view, click the file tab on the ribbon. Click the buttons in the interactive below to learn more about using backstage view. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.